Hey man, say man, it's your boy Mr. Yeah, 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 and I'm back with another video, you know I'm rocking y'all, can rock with me. Hey gang, like the video right now, bruh. Like the video right now, bruh. I stay giving y'all free game, y'all giving me free game by liking this video. Alright, so guys, a like go for this video is 200 likes, bruh. Get me the 200 likes. Look, you still watching the video, and you still ain't like this shit. Stop being a hater, bruh. But anyway, in this video, we're gonna talk about how no girl is ever fully single, bruh. And let me tell you something, let's say you go on a date with a girl, and she say, oh, I was single for two years or longer. That is a red flag. Because no good girl stay on the market, bro. And I'm going to prove my point. So the girl that broke my heart, you know why she broke my heart? Because she was such a good girl, bro. But I simped too hard for her. Three months after she stopped fucking with me, she got in a relationship and she been with the nigga since. And that was three years ago. But back to the no girls ever single, right? They all get it fucked behind the scenes. I tell you, every video, I got 54 bodies. And, and if you think I was in 54 relationships, <laughs> something is wrong with you. So if I wasn't in 54 relationships, who I'm fucking? Single woman, right? Exactly. And you know what's the crazy part about it, bro? About half of my bodies was from like Tinder. All pretty girls in my age range, girls who you think are good girls, they all got fucked. Shit is sad, bro. And the crazy part is, she'll go on a date with you, right? And she ain't gonna tell you about all her Tinder hookups. The only thing she gonna mention is her last relationship. Oh, I've been celibate since. <laughs> yeah, selling a bit of pussy. Come on, bro. And y'all be buying that shit. Y'all meet a girl, and she tell you, oh, I've been single for two years, and you probably thinking like, oh, shit, I got, got me a decent one. You know, she's focused. She not worrying about dudes. Guys, there's a dude like me fucking behind the scenes. What you guys got to understand about pretty single woman is, right? They don't like the simps, right? So they're chasing the asshole. He's fucking, right? He's ejaculating and evacuating. He's hitting and quitting, right? And she's chasing his validation, but he's not giving her his non-sexual attention. He has the abundant mindset, or he has a mission in life, how y'all fucking should, and he's not putting girls first. Because a nigga like him and a nigga like me, we don't need that much love and attention from a female. Matter of fact, I just cut off two bitches this week because a bitch will slow you down. Motherfucker, I was on semen retention for a month. Started fucking with two bitches. Next thing you know, I caught myself having sex three days in a row, four days in a row. I'm going to the gym now tired. I said, fuck that shit. I cut them off, bro. It's so easy to meet females, bro, and get comfortable, and they'll throw you off your A game if you let them. That's why I don't do that lovey-dovey shit, bro. I'm cool with my booty calls, and that's it. Shit, call me when you want dick, and that's that. I'll drop it off, and I'll go home. But yeah, also when you meet a girl, right, you're in competition with other men. You're not the only one she's talking to. You're not. She's talking to three other dudes and definitely fucking one of them if you're pursuing her as a girlfriend. But the thing is, girls can't be alone. So while she's fucking this dude and he's not giving her his not sexual attention, she's going to go on a date with you. Because she know a bitch ass dude like you will take her seriously. That's why I'm telling y'all, bro, these first dates, why the fuck y'all be going out wasting mad money, bro? Like, bro, I fucked a girl last week, right? One of my friends I've been cool with for years, right? We messed around in 2021, but we've been cool since, right? Fucked one of my friends this week, right? I follow her on TikTok, right? She's always posting my relationships, how she want a dude to be a father to her pet cat and shit like that. And I'm just laughing like, bro, I just fucked this girl, bro. But that's a sip of her DM who thinks she's single, not doing nothing. They're all fucking. Your mother's fucking. If your mother's single, your older sister, your auntie, your grandma, they all fucking. You might not know, but they all getting dick behind the scenes when she ain't home. Believe me. These girls are not princesses like you guys fucking think, bro. Now, I'm not saying they're bad people, but they like dick and sex, too. Stop being so fucking naive when you meet girls. And let me tell you something. If you go on a date with a girl and she tells you, I've been single for longer than a year, she's a horrible person. Like I say all the time, good girls are rare. So when a nigga like me come across one, we're going to take them off the market ASAP. ASAP. Even if we got to hurt them, cheat on them. We're going to make sure we snatch her up. Now, me, I don't cheat on girls. I don't recommend this shit, but still. I'll change my ways for a decent female. So if she been single for a year or longer, that means every guy she runs across, they don't fuck with her. She's probably a 304, has a horrible past, a horrible personality, clingy, or crazy. Now, you know what's crazy? Uh, now, a lot of y'all love to ask me, like, yo, how you bees? How do I get a girl to fuck without taking her on a date? This shit is simple, guys. Girls like to fuck, bro. The reason why you keep losing with girls is because you keep coming with relationship energy, bro. They don't want that shit. These young girls, 18 to 23, they just want to fuck, bro. They're party girls. They want to have fun. 
You got to make your intentions known without making it known, bro. So let's say you a smoker and shorty smokes weed. Girls that smoke weed, they easy to fuck, bro. I don't smoke weed, but I know from experience, right? So I don't DM. Ask me, what's up? When we matching? Link her. In the V. If you're a young nigga, you ain't got your own crib. Go to the park in the nighttime. Park somewhere. Just vibe. And I said at nighttime, right? Because girls, from my experience, they're hornier in the nighttime, bro. They're very fucking horny, bro. I swear to fucking God. You know, smoke with her. And if this is your first time linking, that's your icebreaker. Y'all smoking. So the pressure's low on both ends. And then this vibe, normal conversation, love her talk more. She gonna look at you, bro. Girls give you that look. They look at you for like three seconds, look at your lips, then look away. Cause they get nervous. If you keep in strong eye contact, and when you catch her looking at you, be like, come here. Grab her chin. Go for the kiss. You know what I'm saying? Kiss her. Slow, passionate. You don't want to rush things. You got to stimulate her mind. You got to give her time to loosen up. You got what I'm saying? And then while you kissing her, escalate. Put your hand on her shirt. Touch her areolas. Now move your hands to her, her waist, her thigh. Feel on her thighs. Now by then, she should be a waterfall. Keep kissing her. Now in this new era of times, right? Guys, you want to let her escalate things, right? So when you guys are making out, right? You know, grab her neck, kiss her neck, put her hand on your stomach. And if she really want to fuck, bro, she'll put her hands in your pants and pull it out. Before, back in the day, I tried to unbuckle the pants, see if they let me. But nowadays, I let females take full control. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, she pull it out, just go from there. I ain't going to say too much because, you know, we on YouTube and I ain't trying to get demonetized, but it's that fucking simple. No dates. Stop asking girls on dates or tell her to pull up to the crib. And then when she walk in your crib right at the door, this is how you do it. You want to assert dominance and confidence right away. So when she walk in your crib, right, give her a hug, step back, be like, damn, I know you look this good in person, little fine ass. You know, a little smirk, serious, not too funny. You're showing confidence. When a girl come over your crib and you nervous and panicky, you put her in a state of worry now. And she can't be in her true feminine energy. So boom, you broke the ice. Usually when a girl comes to your room, if you got a spare chair, she's going to sit in that chair. Or she's going to sit at the end of the bed. That's when you lay down or whatever. You know, ask her about her ride there. Ask her how her day was. Because I usually link girls in the nighttime, right? Just normal conversation. And then after like five, ten minutes, be like, yo, why you sitting over there? You nervous? And then she really fucked with you. She's going to lay next to you. And then be like, you trying to watch a movie? And then she's going to be like, yeah, not set of ten. If a girl link you at the crib for the first time off a day and that, bro, she already know what fucking time it is. Stop being a fucking nice guy and being scared to bust moves. Like, oh, I want to show her I'm different. Guys, these girls on day and apps are not fucking different. They're whores. So, boom. Turn on the movie. You know what I'm saying? She's laying next to you. You're feeling her back. Play with her hair. And eventually, just look at her and start kissing her and go from there. It's that fucking simple, bro. Y'all be overcomplicating shit. But yeah, man, that's all tape, man. Girls are never single. That's how you fuck a girl easy without taking her on dates. Because I don't take girls on dates. Unless I fuck first, and then I go on a date. Because these girls will use and abuse you for a date. Or for validation or for a free meal. But anyway, that's all tape, man. It's your boy, Hype Stan. Like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm. Like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm. Comment video ideas I want to talk about. You know, I see all your comments. Y'all boy, Hype Stan, ain't that famous. And Hype Beast out.